Okay, this is a design for a perpetual energy device. Now, you've seen all the kids' playgrounds that have the uh, merry-go-rounds, the spinning disc. They get on the disc, the kids, uh, on the edge of the disc, they'll hold on to the bar right here. They'll kick off with their legs and spin, get the disc spinning, and they'll jump up on it. This is a top view, and they'll ride around the merry-go-round, standing on one of these spots between the bars. One kid down here, when he gets it spinning, if the kid chooses to do it, he can get down here and just kind of keep hitting the bars once he gets this thing spinning. It takes a lot of effort to get this thing spinning. They, they push on it and they run around with it and get it spinning and then they jump on it. Or they can stay out on the edge off of the, off of the merry-go-round and just take their hand and every now and then just lightly just kind of keep hitting the bars as they come around and keep that thing spinning. That's the basis for this perpetual energy device. It's been there all this time on the kids' playgrounds. We didn't even know it. Or maybe uh, some people did know it and they just haven't told the rest of us. But anyway, using momentum, what happens is once you get this thing spinning, the energy it takes to get this thing spinning, once you've got it spinning, it doesn't take much effort to keep it spinning once it's going because momentum keeps it going. Now, take that idea and once we get a disc spinning like this, you know, parallel with the ground, and we put a little motor out here on the outer edge of it that acts kind of like that kid's hand that keeps this thing going. This spinning weighted disc put all the weight to the outer edge so that as it's spinning around, it's kind of like spinning a, a rock on a string, you know, like this. So you want all the weight on the very outer edge of the circle. You want all the weight to be out there. So we're going to vary this a little bit. We're going to put all the weight out here. We're going to spin this disc. Once we get it going to a certain RPM, engage a little bitty motor. And then all the torque in the cent is at the center of this circle. And this thing's spinning, all the power is at the center. So we're going to put a generator right there. And this generator is going to create more electricity than what it takes to run this little motor to keep this disk spinning. And there you have, to start with, a little bit ex excess energy, a little bit excess electricity. But we're not going to stop there because that's not much. See, this generator creates drag on this surf on this disc, and this little motor needs to, to be strong enough to compensate for the fact that once we engage the generator, it's going to have an effect of wanting to slow this down. So the energy that is going to be uh, shunted from this generator to here is going to take up probably the majority of the electricity that this generator is going to going to uh, produce. But that's okay. We're going to have excess electricity, and we're going to take that and use it for a second device. A little bit bigger. Same idea. It's going to have, just like those uh, things on those merry-go-rounds on the, the uh, playgrounds, we're going to have motors hooked up to this one, just like I forgot to mention that we actually had hooked up to this one to get a whole thing started. you got to get it spinning. This probably isn't going to be enough electricity to run motors to get this spinning. So still, you're probably going to need a motor or two to help get this one running. But it won't take as much effort because you're using some electricity from here. That's always going to be there. It's never going to stop because once you get this one going, the little motor is going to keep it spinning, and you're always going to have that extra electricity we're going to use for this second device. Same idea. Generator in the middle. That once we have this little motor out to the edge, once we got this uh, disc spinning, excuse me, once we got the disc spinning and we engage the motor on the outer edge and it keeps the momentum going, this thing at a certain RPM, <coughs> engage this, the generator, and we're not going to need as much excess electricity to run this motor because we got some coming from here. And so now we're going to have excess, a little bit of excess electricity coming from this one, a little bit of excess electricity coming from this one, proportionally more so because this one's always going to be there, feeding this one a little bit of electricity. So that's that much less electricity we need to run this one. Then this one we're going to use to help us run a third one. Again, we've got this spinning disc. We get it up to a certain speed, engage a motor. We've got a generator in the center. It's going to be proportionally just a little bit, of course, bigger each time. And we're going up in scale as we keep going. Somewhere 
maybe at this point or the next or somewhere, I need the experts to help me with this, somewhere along the way, we're going to have eventually a device that because we have excess electricity coming from each one of the previous devices, we're not going to need any electricity from a subsequent device uh, from the generator to run that motor. It'll all be coming from the previous devices. So that at a certain point, everything we get from this generator we'll be able to use. And if we keep this going, eventually you could still have excess electricity coming from a previous device as well as the one that the previous ones are serving to support 100%. Okay, and the experts, you know what I'm talking about. You can help me with this. And if we choose to, there could be variations on this. And you guys know what I mean. Instead of having a generator in the center, we can move it out to the side and hook a sprocket up instead, maybe a chain going to a bigger sprocket over here so that there's even more torque and you'd be able to put an even bigger generator maybe. Maybe somebody out there can help me do help, help do that. You know, take this, run with it, let's get some uh, free electricity. But the thing is, if you keep this going, then you could feasibly on the next device proportionally put an even larger motor that would spin it even faster and faster and get even more, proportionally more electricity out of a, a device that's only a little bit larger in scale and we could keep increasing the extra power we're getting exponentially as we continue to create subsequent devices that are all linked together in a system to help support this idea of having extra electricity that this system will never stop creating. So that's the idea. It's very simple and just like when Henry Ford was making the V8 engine, he told his, in his engineers, I want a V8 engine, and they said it wouldn't work. He said, gentlemen, make it work. There's going to be plenty of people who are going to say this does not work. I'm looking for the people who are going to say, well, let's make this work. Because then, that's when it's going to work. If Henry Ford had given up and everybody given up, oh, a V8 engine won't work. Oh, gosh, you're right. Yeah, I guess not. He said, gentlemen, make it work. When you make it a necessity, the mother of invention appears. You get creative and you find ways to do things. You make things happen. We need to make this happen. Everybody needs this. So please help me. Take this idea. Run with it. Um, video me back. Uh, see, tell me what kind of think, ideas you have and what you're coming up with. Maybe you can come up with a prototype. I don't have the resources myself to do it. I need your help to bring this to fruition. Thank you.